everyone and welcome back to Speedway Motors. My name is Pat. In front of me today I have a fuel delivery kit that's great for your LS swap. In this kit is an MSD fuel pump. It's great up to 500 horsepower. Uh, it does push 58 PSI which is pretty much the requirement for uh, any LS swap. Um, behind the pump I got a pair of brackets for mounting. Got the fuel regulator and filter combo and then I have the fittings for the fuel regulator and then uh, this barb fitting here. This barb fitting will just punch right into the teeth here. And then on the end is an AN6 fitting. Over here, this kit comes with some great fittings. Uh, these things are awesome. It has a, a threaded U clamp. Uh, inside are threads. So basically what happens is this just pushes on. And then on the back side, you'll just thread this into place. Really, you shouldn't have any leaks. These are great fittings. And also, you can get these for uh, your fuel rail on the 5 uh, return line if you have one, uh, or 3 8 We sell these in blue and black. Also in the kit uh, is a new addition. This will help push in to your 5 fuel line on your pressure side, and this will convert you up to AN6, which is how most systems are run. So just a couple uh, things. I was checking the website, and there was a few questions on how these barbs are different and why they're different, and then uh, exactly what LS setups uh, this kit is good for. And those are good questions. So on this fuel regulator, this helps with flow. The arrow will point towards the motor. Um, so the small side will be 5 16 so this will be your return side. The bigger one being 3 8 will be your uh, pressure side. So we got the fittings for that. Those are great. Um, again, this fitting is AN6 to continue running your, your 3 8 uh, hose setup. On the fuel pump itself, this will be a 3 8 barb. Down here on the pressure side, going towards the motor, is 5 16 And then, of course, you have your uh, positive and negative connections. Now, real quick, um, I just want to point out, this kit is great for everyone out there doing your 4.8, your 5.3, your, your 6 liter swaps, your LS1, which is a 5.7, and uh, even the, new, the newer LS motors. But this is a great swap for everyone out there just going to grab a junkyard motor and uh, put one of these in your car and you'll be just fine. Now over here to my right, I have something kind of uh, already set up to show you how to plumb your, your system. Um, so here's pretty much the same pump. Uh, I just have some hose connected and now we started carrying EFI black hose here at Speedway. Uh, we've always had stainless steel braided hose and even black synthetic hose, uh, but now we carry the EFI stuff and uh, it fits great. So on this side we have 5 sixteenths on the pressure side. Over here we have 3 eighths. Uh, you want to hold those down with some EFI fuel clamps, that's important because a, a regular spin style clamp will eat into the rubber. Um, and uh, so let's set this up. When I go to put these fuel systems together on my cars, I like to start out with one of these cheap fuel filters. Uh, we sell this one at Speedway. It's a little chrome filter. It's got the replacement bronze element in it. And I've used these on a couple setups and they work great. Um, you'll always want to use a pre-filter to go between your fuel tank and the fuel pump itself. You want to keep all the junk out of this, uh, out of this pump. Um, so on this, we have the 3 8 EFI fuel line that we sell here at Speedway. Uh, and then on the other side, we have this 5 16 line. And uh, so basically, we'll just pump this in here. Then, so we'll go for the fuel pump to the pressure side. And we have, again, three fittings that come in this kit, plus the little black one that goes on the end of the 5 16 All right, so those pop in there. They have the clips that'll go on the back side. We'll take that little 5 16 fitting that we've included in the kit now. Get that pushed in there. And then we'll screw that in. That's AN6 on the female side. Both ends here are AN6. We'll put that on the, on the pressure side. That's the, the bigger middle one. All right. And then the third fitting that we include in the kit, this actually will go on your 3 8 pressure side on your fuel rail. Okay, 
So if you don't actually need the fuel regulator that comes in this kit, let's say you have a truck motor that already has the fuel regulator on the fuel rail, um, you can call up, buy this kit, tell us you don't need the fuel regulator, and we can then sell you a uh, high pressure fill filter. Comes with the brackets, comes with a couple plastic style uh, clips, and you can get rid of these because you're going to want to buy fittings like these. These are just a lot better. They seal up. You don't have to worry about them coming off. So this is 3 8 on both sides. You should pop that on there, and you're good to go. You'll just run, you know, AN6 line is what most people would run, which is equivalent to 3 8 You run that up to your drill rail, and you're good to go. Uh, something very important I want to point out is with this kit, again, this is a gravity style pump. It's meant to push fuel. It's not meant to pull. So you'll definitely want to mount this thing to the side of the frame rail next to the fuel tank or below it. Uh, the lower the better. Um, if you put this up too high, you'll more than likely starve this out and then end up ruining the pump and having to buy another one. So make sure this is low. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions about the LS fuel pumps, the fuel delivery kits, give us a call at Speedway Motors or visit us on our website at speedwaymotors.com. Thanks for visiting.